matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Seattle Seahawks. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. On second down now, York. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Looking to throw. Mays, and that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here, they're going to be the goat. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just to call it. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. <laughs> on first and 10, Moon. Well, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is caught. But the back judge right there to say incomplete. So the pass incomplete on, in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who throw it. The best starting field position you could possibly have. First and goal from the one. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. They'll try the ground game with Jackson. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Point after here coming up. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll run on first down. York space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll throw an opening, and there he goes. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. A big play there on the option. Give him 69 yards on the ground. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first-and-goal situation. 
They'll try and run for it with Davis. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense as we grind toward the end of the season here, and they haven't had the season that they had hoped. So let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? I think when you look into the upcoming draft, think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front. And as a GM it always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league. And the ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he will score! Touchdown, Cowboys! Ah, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, oh, you're bringing back great memories. You used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it, and then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you, what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski, okay? Oski was an for different teams. Different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be a two syllable word. Yeah. You, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. Now move. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here's Moon. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 39. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. So they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Now a first down throw, Moon. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Throwing again, Moon. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. 
Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. Third down here. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. From the gun, here's Moon. And he completes it to Cohen. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 21. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and one at the Cowboys' 13 yard line. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Check nine, check nine. On second down, this is Jackson. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. It's a three yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. He lost two there, and it's third down. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. On third down, this is Jackson. And he's across the chalk, into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. A great play there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Point after, right down the middle. These two teams all tied after one. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's on it. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. On second down. Good. He gets them a little over half of what they need, and now they're looking at a third and five. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Let's go. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. From the gun, Mays. And all this is taken in one hand and what a catch. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. 
What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? And those gloves, they do have a little grip to them, they? Don't get that they? little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. Second and four. He's going to rifle one deep left side. This is caught. It's a big play for the Cowboys on third. 49 yards. Well, we spent a lot of time exalting the offensive masterminds in this game, right? They draw up these beautiful plays. They look so perfect up on the board. But occasionally, sometimes you just say, throw it up and let him go get it. How about that play? They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. It was bidding for a second. On second down now. York. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. His 19th touchdown now on the season as his guys are able to regain the lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now 21-14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And Charles Way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing. It's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. It's Moon. And that's incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. Got a man. It's right. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. But well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. First down, it's Moon. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Got a man that's caught inside the 10. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. A big play there with touchdown number 12 on the year. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Extra point right down the middle. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Go, 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The so, coach. So we get slap happy up here sometimes. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll try the left side. York and a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down, York. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Here go, here go. First and 70, Indy. Squeeze. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. As his guys have now moved out in front. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Second down, here's Moon. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Now the Cowboys gonna burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Check 24, check 24. Operating from the gun. Moon. And he's going to go down again. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. 
as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. The Seahawks send out their punter, and no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 12. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. And his kick here is good. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. They run again with Jackson. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They run on first down with Jackson. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They run with Jackson out of the gun. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Buying to that, he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. That's his second sack of the game of the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Moon to throw. Complete to right. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That'll pick up the first down for Seattle on a gain of 18. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Check my 46. We own it. We own it. Back, back, back. On 
first down. Moon, he's going to sling this deep downfield. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. Full shot. 46 to Mike, 46. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing nothing today. Sure. Go, go. To throw again. Move. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He's coming. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He's going to look deep down the field. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Let's go. About three, set three. for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, defense, yeah. we've got the de we've got the, we've got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, Mays. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Davis. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Ready, ready. Mike, 56, right there, right there, 56. <laughs> check three, check three, check three. Sponge, sponge, sponge. No, no, no. On third down, York. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. 
The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. Not good at all. Punt of just 24 yards there. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. The job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Hey, check my 46. Hey. Check my 46. Here we go. Here we go. Check safety. Check safety. Check the backer. Check the backer. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill. A play fake. Now Moon steps away to his left. Now he'll let it go deep. Morris is taken in. It's complete. That one goes for 36 yards. Charles, you talk so much about quick change plays. There's one right there. You get the turnover, and boom, hit him with a big one. The defense is planned for this all the time. They work on it in practice. But in the middle of a game, when that quick change takes place, oftentimes guys aren't as focused as they need to be. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Operating from the gun. Moon. That is caught by Cohen. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 25 yards that time. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. 46 a month. Hey, keep it up. Keep it right. On first and 10, Moon throwing the out route incomplete. That's Cohen. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Yes. Check. Crunch. 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 Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On second down now, it's Jackson. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Jackson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. He's able to rattle off six on the carry and that'll get him to third and four. They'll run again with Jackson. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A great effort there. With his third touchdown so far, number 13 now on the year as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game extra point splits the uprights and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter so just a three-point game now as they send this one away this will be taken in at the one And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34.
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. They'll keep it on the ground. York, he'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. The Cowboys on third down, two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. That's a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Back to throw. Mays. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Right back to him on first down. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. York. And after the good game last play, this time they say, ah, oh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and goal. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he's gonna pull his way down to about the one yard line. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. They push out in front further. Extra point right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Let's go now. 
come into the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it, and they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for Dallas, it's a 10.